it's a really rainy day in New York, and I'm going to make some chai. Um, I'm using really nice Darjeeling tea. It's autumnal tea, so it's a little flowery, but it's black tea. And mm -hmm. as long as I can get it out of this goddamn pouch, <laughs> that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> Step one, get your tea out of the packaging. Okay, this smells good. This is Sancha, Master Blend Tea. So you want to use a black tea. You can use a black tea bag, like sometimes I'll just use Twinings if I don't have anything else. Or you can use loose tea, which is what we're going to do today. And then I'm going to use star anise. You guys probably remember the star anise from the ribs last week. And, um, you know, sometimes you buy these spices and then you don't know what to do with them after you use them. So, if you're not used to using star anise, you can also use it in a Vietnamese broth for pho, or um, you can use it in lots of roasts and different things. Today we're using it to make a spiced tea or a masala chai. So basically I'm just gonna fill this with water. And I'm gonna heat the water. Got the water boiling. I'm putting some big slices of ginger in there. You can use fresh ginger. You can use ginger powder, but it won't be as good. You don't have to peel it or anything. You just some big slices like that. I like my tea really gingery. So I'm going to do that. Let that boil so the ginger gets nice and steeped. And then I'm putting in... These are whole cardamom seeds. They're not in the pods. Um, these are, you know, there's about a dozen seeds in a green shell, like a sage green shell. These have already been shelled. Um, so I'm heating those up. These are whole cloves, which are really great too. As a mouth freshener, you can just chew on it. Um, if you're feeling a little nauseous, my mom always uses, oh, she has a little pill box, a little silver pill box with all these cloves and cardamom pots. That's cool. So this, again, with spices, you're just heating them up in a dry hot pan. You're only doing it for a couple of, like not even, like a minute or a minute and a half. And then I'm gonna put the tea in. I don't measure, but um, if you want, there is a recipe for tea in um, tangy tart, hot and sweet, and you can find tons of variations on this online. Um, we'll try to put it up on the website or, you know, I'll try to get around to do it. So, one, two, three. Four. That's about five teaspoons. Um, I usually do one teaspoon um, a cup because I like my tea very strong. And I also can never have too many cups of tea. I probably drink, I don't know, 45, 50 cups of tea a day, <laughs> tea a day. So you can't smell this sadly, but you can see that it's starting to color a bit. And when you start to smell it, that's all you need. It might smoke a little bit, but don't. Okay, so that's when you want to take it off because you don't want to burn the spices. Put that in too. about four cups of water. You can see all the stuff swirling around in there. There's the fresh ginger pieces, the star anise, the whole cloves, the cardamom pods, and the black loose Darjeeling tea. And you just wanna let this all go. Be careful because it'll boil over. And I actually add the milk right in there so it can all um, boil together. And then I add honey, but you could also add you know, palm sugar or cane sugar or jaggery, which is what you would use um, if you wanted it really sweet and rich, which I don't like it that sweet. <laughs> so masala, when you say masala chai, it just means spiced tea. Masala is the Hindi word for spices. It can mean one spice or various spices, like garam masala, which is a blend, and garam just means hot in Hindi. And sometimes we say there's lots of masala, meaning there's lots of gossip or you know there's a mo it's like a masala movie is like a real soap opera-y movie so this is bubbling when it bubbles like that you don't have to let it boil over 
I'm just putting, you could put half and half too. Just let that boil together, but turn the heat down because you don't want it to boil. That's the milk foaming. Mm. And so you can see it's getting nice. You wanted a medium brown. I like it a little dark, so. So then you just strain the tea. So I'm going to have this tea and the three or four other cups that are in there. And I'm going to curl up with this book that a bazillion people have read, but I have not read yet, um, Where the Crawdaddies Sing. And I read about six chapters just for a little bit this weekend, and it's so good. The writing is so good, and it's so interesting. So I'm going to read that and stay in and cuddle with myself. <laughs> I'm also going to enjoy this nice moment of calm because I'm working on a secret project and that will gear up very soon and it'll take a lot of time away from home as well. And so I'm just gonna luxuriate at home.